Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, the creator of the Internet Sales 20 Group, automotive internet sales, writer all over the place. That's me, I'm Sean V. Bradley. And guess what, you know what time it is? It is Make Money Mondays. What time is it, people? It is Make Money Mondays, and I have a super duper tip for today, which is Monday. How can you make money? You know what it's called? Twitter jacking. What? Is that a dance? Is it like teach me how to Dougie? No, it's Twitter jacking. You are going to jack. What does that mean? That means you're gonna take the ether, the opportunities, the ups from other dealers. What? Sean, what are you talking about? Listen to it, okay. Twitter, you could actually increase your sales by five, even 10 units a month. Now, this could be good for an individual salesperson. So if you are a sales consultant and you're watching this, pay attention. If you are an internet department, pay attention. If you are the dealer principal, pay attention. Matter of fact, if you're breathing, pay attention, people. So what exactly is Twitter jacking? Again, like I said, it's not like a dance or anything like that. Here's what you do. If you are an internet department, get a plasma screen. Get like a 50, 60, 70 inch plasma and put it into your internet department. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a Twitter feed, right? And if you are a salesperson, put it on your iPad, the app for Twitter. Here's what you wanna look for. There is a hashtag. As you see on the screen right here, it looks like the tic-tac-toe board. It's a hashtag. What you wanna do is you wanna click discover in Twitter, because you could have the at symbol, you could have discover. You wanna put the hashtag, right? And your competing dealership's name. So for example, if you were, if you were Bradley Honda, what you're gonna use is the hashtag and you're gonna put ABC Honda, right? And what's gonna happen is anytime somebody talks about ABC Honda and they put the hashtag, you'll be able to hear it or see it, I should say. Now, here's why you care. There's a lot of times that people vent their frustrations and their aggravations on Twitter. Let me repeat that. There's a lot of times that people vent their frustrations and aggravations on Twitter. So if somebody says that ABC Honda sucks, you know what I mean? You're gonna see it. Every time they complain, I didn't get my floor mats from ABC Honda. You know what? They lied to me at ABC Honda. They wasted my time at ABC Honda. Guess what you're gonna do? What you gotta think of is almost like a, like a New York Stock Exchange ticker, almost like a rolling ticker. Oh, I love this. Okay, if you're gonna Twitter jack somebody, what you wanna be able to do is you wanna look at the hashtags of your competitors and any time a prospect is you know, venting or, or yelling or screaming or MFing your competitors, well, you don't want, you don't want to you don't want to retweet it, you don't want to do anything like that, but what you want to do is respond to them and say something like this, I am so sorry you feel that way. Is there anything we could do to help? <laughs> you love that? So again, any time that a prospect or a client of your competitors is MFing them, is complaining about them, is you know saying anything negative about them, I don't want you to perpetuate it. I don't want you to say, that's right, damn, ABC, Honda. I don't want you to jump on the bandwagon. I don't want you to say anything, anything at all about ABC Honda, but I want you to turn around and jump in like the knight in shining armor and say something like, we don't do that here. We can help you here. So do you see what I'm saying? Like, is I want you to just look at that almost like a stock ticker of, of opportunity. So if you, you know, basically set up the discover tags, the hashtags for your competitors, it's not only that, but you also should be cognizant of the at symbols. If it was me, let's say I am a Bradley Honda, what I would do is first, step one, okay, is make a list of all my competitors. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Step one is making a list of all my competitors. One, two, three Honda, you know, XYZ Honda, ABC Honda, and maybe it's the Toyota dealership or the Ford dealership, ABC Ford, XYZ Chevrolet, et cetera, et cetera. So after I make my master list, of my competitors that, that are in my geographical area, in my perimeter, in my circumference of my store, um, or in my annoyance. Like if there's a dealership that just kick my butt in certain things and I wanna crush them, politically, respectfully, neutrally, et cetera, then what I wanna do is I want to, after I create my list, in the next column, write the hashtags that I found that are associated. It might be ABC Honda sucks hashtag, or it might just be hashtag ABC Honda. So write down what the hashtags are. The other things is find out what their actual Twitter handle is as well. So now, you can actually set up streams. 
you could actually create like a stream. So you could just have it set on your Twitter that anytime somebody is hashtagging about this, you'll have it just kind of floating down. That's option one is to set up the stream. Or if you want, you could just manually, you know, if you've got time, just drop in the hashtag or the at symbol. Now, that's step one is making the list of the other competitors. And it's also creating the hashtags that are associated to those competitors. And it's also creating the at symbols or the actual Twitter handles there. Now, so once you have the list, how do you do this? Again, there's two options. You could either create a, a live stream of those sets. So you could program Twitter to have a live stream or you could just manually just drop the hashtag or the at symbol and whatever you're trying to look for. So now after you've you found all these messages and folks you'll be shocked once you finish watching this make money money's videos you'll be shocked at how many people have negative or complaints or just venting you know about their businesses that are on there so after you found them so you know, what's the next step how do you engage them what i recommend is i would reply to them and again i would turn around and just be nice and be courteous you don't want to be aggressive or because you're going to start a war or what you could also do, so besides responding and offering a solution, responding and, and being empathetic to them, responding. Well, here's the other thing I would do, and this is the straight Twitter jack, is that I would, if it's on Twitter, I would follow these people. So again, anytime you've identified that a person is a prospect, a customer, a prior customer, or a pissed off person of your competitor, I would follow these people on Twitter. Okay, because they're important to me. I would follow these people on Twitter. And then what I would do is on the emotional side is anytime they tweet about anything, I would retweet, I would comment, and I'd just be social. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's the second strategy. The first strategy is try to respond and try to convert. So the first strategy is respond and convert. The other one is just add them to your social network. Add them into your emotional bank account. Now to remind you all what the emotional bank account is this, is just like a traditional bank account. You can't just go into the bank and say, give me a thousand dollars unless you deposited $1,000 or you're looking for a federal case, am I right? You can't just go into any bank and ask to withdraw something unless you deposited something uh, that's of greater or more value. I mean, of equal or greater value. So same thing here. You can't just use Twitter, you know, and just ask people to buy or come see you or care about you unless you deposit into their Twitter emotional bank account by retweeting, by commenting, and, and just being social. Social media is 90% social and 10% propaganda, in my opinion, or personal or advertisable. So again, now the final piece of this, you ready? is that you are consistent with it. I don't want you to just get this Make Money Monday idea and that's that. I've got sales consultants, literally just sales consultants, that are actually picking up anywhere from three to five units just for one sales consultant, three to five cars sold just by doing Twitter jackings, okay? I've got dealerships, one of my best you know, clients that's doing this has picked up another 10 to 15 units a month just out of the internet department and they have a plasma, a plasma in the internet department or BDC and it's like a, a running stock ticker. Thank you.